ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Today we have a situation that should put this new 50 ton to the test. We have a very large railroad truck apparently buried down to the frame. But uh, Oscar and I are going to see what we can do, if we can do it with one truck, if we're going to need two. They said they've already put some machines on it to try to pull it out and were unsuccessful. So they called us in. Here we go. This is a little worse than we had anticipated. It's not just stuck, it's leaning. Like, leaning bad. Trust those straps. Do you have tracking time? Are we clear? Hey Oscar, the problem is it's going to want to keep pulling down into that uh, fence. Yeah, we don't want to go there. This looks good and solid right here. Yeah, don't go that way. Okay. We this right here looks good and solid. And then we can we can go out right there if we can Goes into Verdassian right over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or you can back down and whichever. I think you can get a wide enough spin in here. Yeah. He said if there's nothing running on the tracks. I was worried about coming back over this. This side's not built up. Well, swing wide right there. And you'll. Huh? So it might just come in or it good without dropping off in the back. Out well, I mean, if you if you come over here, you'll be able to hug this side and you may not have to climb it. Super singles. See how that works. Is that what you got super singles on? Yeah, on the front. On the front, yeah, it's got floats, big float tires. All right, bring her on up.
Back up! Cut it and back up! Lock it in! There you go! Oh, I love it. Whoa! Drive back to it and we'll double the lines. Definitely want to double these lines back. One for a lift and one for a pull. One pick and one to pull. How much, you, how much does it weigh? The truck? Yeah. That truck's probably 60. Wouldn't you say 60 to 65, Ruben? Well, it's only covering 56. Okay. Still pretty doggone heavy. Yep. Yep, I'd say pick and pull. Pick on the low side and pull on the upper side. So we're going to need two snatch blocks for this one. I don't know what else to do though because if we do anything else it's going to bend up on the box pull up on the box i mean the best thing would be to go around the frame or there's the outrigger frame right here but it's still going to pull on the box i don't want to crush that box yeah it'll, it'll bend like it yeah it will i know it's just thin sheet metal is all it is i picked up a, a, the, one of the trucks the three-quarter ton trucks they got the boxes on there we picked it up with the section truck and it bent it up yep uh, we right now we've got no other option than to try it this way just real nice and easy yeah. and everybody stay clear because if we don't I've, I've worked on these worked with these before unless we get a spreader bar and get real wide with it then you're talking real pain in the butt but still there's ways to do it no i don't like them i don't trust the welds <laughs> Yeah. 
think we're gonna have to. I think what we're gonna have to do, Oscar, is take, we'll redirect right here off of this one, double it back and go to that one. That way you're getting a pull down on these. You understand what I'm saying? You're redirecting down so that you're counteracting the force on the boom with your lift. like the looks of those little things. Where'd the pin go on that one? And just tie it into the... Oh, make sure you're not... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Under your rope. Yeah, it's a work truck. All right, forward, forward you go. It's, it's on free spool right now. Really, all we need is your drives up here, isn't it? You got the remote. Of course, I don't know that I'd want to do the remote on this. We don't have a... Uh, we don't have a step stool for this baby. I got short arms. Let's stand back. All right, lift and pull. Lift, pull. Lift. Okay. 
There she comes. It's just digging those cleats in. Oh! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. I like butter. Huh? I like butter. In his vents. Yeah. Ain't much we can do about that. Will it fold in or not? Just so lucky that someone hit this side of the fence and probably out more. Need another truck to. What does he want? Can you get in with the backhoe and pull the fence in? No. It's not our property. So. Gotcha. I'll so. No, no, don't do that, Reuben. Let us, let us do it. Here. He's gonna bury you. Reuben! Let us do the work, please. It's like doing the cowboy we should blew the U joint out of it when I walked it up. Yeah, let's just, if he just lets us do it, it'll be nice and controlled. Come right on up out of there. It may touch the fence, but nothing we can do about that. There, you want to finish it up? Now that we know it's going to hold, oh, there you go. Let's see, by lifting the boom and putting the pull on it, it actually drags those uh, spades into the ground and anchors you. That's why you do the pick and pull method. It anchors you and, well, there's all kind of, I'll go over. <laughs> I'll go over it later. Right now, you're focused on this. I just bring him in as it didn't rupture the fuel tank. I was concerned about that. I think the ground would be a little bit harder than my hand. Yep. Yeah, it should. You bulk your weights are already up. Yeah. There's a lot of things I look back on think I could have done that better. Right. Should have done that better. This one actually came out easier than I anticipated. When we first drove up and I saw it like that, I was like, oh. done I'll tell them to have room and lock it down lock it down break. set the break there we go yep.
he should be able to move on his own, don't you think? Does he think he can move on his own from there or does he want us to finish getting the front end out? We need about four more feet. I'd say let's just go ahead and get him out while yeah. we're up. Hold up, Oscar. Raise, put everything on freeze pool. Go forward about 10 feet. We're gonna get him all the way up. That way we can guarantee that he's on the solid before we take off. Mine won't pull that one in though. Because of this concrete wall you got here beside you? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now make sure you're in freeze pool. You are, okay. Yep. Go forward about 10 foot. Ought to give us enough room to get him all the way up. Hold on, Oscar. I gotta stand on something to reach this. Had to stand on a block and still could barely reach it. <laughs> Don't laugh, you'd been the same damn way. Hey Oscar, you know if we were thinking this through better, we'd have been right here a while ago. Behind these. Well, that's why uh, a while ago when you started putting down pressure on it is when it started pulling them in. May have to, here, may have to fold this all the way down. I don't know why it's in the way now and it wasn't a while ago. Oh, you had it all the way down until it got close to the end, didn't you? That third. Right, right, right. Just release your brakes and let us pull you back. Put her in neutral. You're clear of the fence, Oscar.
I'm sure I'd lost a bet on that one. I'd never thought those D rings would have held. Do what? Whoever welded them on there deserves uh <laughs> He's on the solid whenever Do what? Yeah, he is. Set the brakes, Ruben! Leave them in there. Snatch box, that is. Rotator wouldn't have never made it in here. It doesn't turn as well as this truck. This is very tight quarters, but uh, I'm shocked that this, this one made easy work of it. All right, nobody injured. Best case scenario, roll up and head back to the shop. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.